you look at on raw ability and and he's I don't know he's the, the fact that Palace without him are literally um, what can I say they they they're the proper relegation material with all due respect to them he, with with him playing um, they they're just a different team and the thing with Wilf is with his undoubted ability you 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 find it very hard to see how he would would play for other teams who are not going to give him that freedom to play because he's you can watch him playing for Palace and he could take on as many players as he wants, lose the ball as many times as he wants and no one says anything, it's fine. You, if he does that in any other team, then you know people are going to say, oh, you see, he can't, he's, he's not using his teammates. This is why Palace is the best place for him. And this is why when people talk about... Because he's allowed to be mercurial. He's allowed to just get on with it and do his stuff. And that's what you could do. With Wilf, that's what you've got to do for him. I feel like even with the Man United move... The Man United move, I would have been it would have been so interesting to see if Fergie was able to have him under his under his stewardship. If he was able to to to, to see if how he how was he gonna get Wilf to, to progress as the player he is now, but but even better, playing with that freedom and that skill and that entertainment that that, that he gives people. Well, you know, people say about oh, England is mm. England's loss. England would never have given Wilf the freedom to play like he plays.